Yeah, on this video today, I'm showing you how to remove a bumper on a 1995 Porsche Carrera 911. Pop the hat real quick. And yeah, this actually looks a lot like the Porsche from Bad Boys. But that was a 964. Only difference is you can see the spoiler in the back. That's about it. But this is what we got. So on the top, you have a molding. I ended up taking these out. You just twist them, pull them up. They go there and then it reveals the bottom. Also remove these, which are the little caps. I ended up moving them. Uh, replace removing them with a four millimeter and then you take them out and it's the top of the light then you'll be able to take this out but first you got to go on the side and remove that bolt right there which is the Phillips and then you just pop it back a little bit and then sideways because it's got these guides here which interlock to the rear uh, center tail light. I also remove the rear section of the splash shields or wheel well liners. And then there's one, two, three, eight millimeter bolts that you have to get from the inside. As you guys can see, I eliminated the liner, jacked up the car have a little bit more clearance and that's what it looks like in the inside yeah remove one two three on each side also went in here and disconnected the the wiring harness from the main source which is right there remove the light took out the Phillips for the license plate lights on the bumperettes I just went on the bottom of these which is that hole right there and it has a a screw for a bolt and that's an 8 mil took it out they come off that's what they look like right there uh, took out the screws for the light so that way I could take it off for the license plate same thing and this is all the tools I actually used um, electric quarter inch quarter inch expansion Phillips for all the liner liner clips and tail light uh, the 4 mil and the 8 mil the set and plastic pry bar and the plastic pry bar I used because this is a full bumper so what I did is I went underneath of the quarter and pried it down a little bit and the bumper just slides off. See right here. Alright, so I'll show you guys in a sec what the bumper looks like with it off. I can't do it all with just two hands. Alright guys, so here's the bumper off. There it is. That's what she looks like. All this tape, I'm assuming it's for, I put it on there so the estimator can see it. It looks like uh, it had been in an accident prior and it looks like it's got a either, not an intrusion beam, but a, like an absorber of some kind. And it's been broke. You can tell that it's just been dusty. So, for these right here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze the plug. I already know what side it got to come out. So, I end up snaking all of these through this hole. So I can remove the, the license lights, license plate lights. And the bumper is actually cracked right there. 
damage is right there. Don't know if we're gonna end up replacing it or just repairing that one. It's got a lot of haziness from some overspray. But that's what she looks like. It's all one piece. This is the side shields for the inner bumper, which that comes out once you remove it. And that's it. Pretty simple, it's actually a lot easier than a Volkswagen. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. Keep on cruising.